in Edinburgh, at the time of Adam Smith, society was on the cusp of a transformation from an agricultural-based to an industrial-based economy. And Smith was looking forward in the wealth of nations. But he emerged from a time when the arbiter of good and evil and right and wrong had been the church. And the church had unfortunately combined with what you might call powerful earthly interest of the landed aristocracy and discredited itself. As we look at the present, we've had a very, very powerful set of structural transformations start in motion with globalization, powerful advances in technical change, and perhaps relative to an earlier time, an acceleration of the propensity to capture government. And at the earlier time, what was spawned with the separation of church and state was a scientific technocracy, which was distancing itself from that corrupt relationship between aristocracy and the church. And the language became amoral. But now with the challenges of globalization, with the inability of people essentially to control the environment in which the people who elect them uh, live, people are very frustrated with experts. They've actually discarded expertise, and I believe we, we're living in a void, a void that has to be filled. And at this juncture, we put this conference together, and we start with a rebuilding. I put the quote up at the uh, outset about the false innocence that Robert Bella said that we have to get over. And our challenge, the thing that we have influence over is how the economics profession behaves. So there are a series of questions that I think framed the conference. First is what was hiding in plain sight that economists should have seen? And when we look at past economic dysfunction, as the first minister alluded to, you can see that the stakes are very high of making these mistakes. We will look at how the professional structures, the context in which economists live, receive research support, get tenure through publications and so forth, can affect how a young and vital and talented person brings to bear their energy and their imagination to address the challenges of mankind, or how they're thwarted from doing so and leaves the economics profession in all likelihood in disregard and encourages very talented young people who are inspired by the challenge to go elsewhere for their professional life and career. This work on the context of the economics profession is being led by Nobel laureates Jim Heckman, George Akerlof, Angus Deaton, Lars Hansen, and I think for people of that stature to be helping us in that regard is something we should all really, really be grateful for. So we'll also look at, and I think it's really the essence of this entire conference, what does economics going forward, what does good economics look like? What issues, what methods, how do we integrate the history of economic ideas and economic history into it? So I think our agenda is a constructive one. And I'll read a poem which always inspires me when I'm trying to become more constructive. It's by Maya Angelou. She says, you may write me down in history with your bitter twisted lies. You may tread me in the very dirt, but still like dust I rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Makes me think of the movie Loco Hero. Just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I rise. Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise up from a past that's rooted in pain. 
I rise. On the black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into the daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. John Kenneth Galbraith once argued that salvation lies in the subversion of conventional wisdom by the gradual encroachment of disquieting thought. The emancipation of belief is the most formidable task of reform, the one on which all else depends. Ladies and gentlemen, we got work to do. Thank you.